Hello viewers, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this in this video, we will look at the program to count palindrome words in a sentence. We are given a string str and the task is to count palindrome words present in the string. For example, if the input string is this, our output should be 3 because the string contains 3 palindrome words that is Madam, Aurora and Malayalam. So the count is 3. In the second example, uh, speaks is not a palindrome whereas Nitin and Malayalam are a palindrome. Thus our answer would be 2. Now let's look at the solution. We will take, uh, we will make uh, two functions, count palin and check palin. Count palin functions count the number of palindrome words by extracting every word of the string and passing it to check palin function. An extra space is added in the original string to extract last word. Check palin function check the word palindrome. It returns 1 if word is a palindrome, else returns 0. It makes sure that empty strings are not counted as palindrome as the user may enter more, more than one space in between or at the beginning of the string. This is the implementation. First, let's look at the check palin function. We will initialize an int n which will store the length of the string and then we will convert our string to lowercase as it doesn't matter if if the char is in uppercase or lowercase thus for simplicity let's convert everything into lowercase then we will start a loop from 0 to n and uh, and note that n is also decreasing in this loop when i is increasing thus i and n are coming closer to each other at every iteration we will check if char at i is equal to char at n minus 1 if it's not then we will return false else we would uh, continue the loop if the loop is continued uh, till the end that is this condition never satisfies then our string is a palindrome and we would return true let's look at count palin function now first we will add an extra space to make sure that we will we never miss the last word then we will initialize a string called word which will store each word of the given string here we are extracting each word and storing it in a variable called a word. If we find space in a string, it means that one word has been completed. Thus we would check if the word is a palindrome or not by passing it in check palin function. If the word is a palindrome, then increase the count by one. Uh, after completion of this loop, we will get the count of palindrome in our strings. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Please leave us your likes and comments.